I'm meteorologist Tim Armstrong with the National Weather Service in Wilmington, and this is your winter climate outlook for the eastern Carolinas. The big story this winter is La Nina, a natural cooling of water temperatures across the East Pacific Ocean. La Nina causes changes in the position of the jet stream and the track of storms across the United States, with weather impacts noted across the entire planet. For the Carolinas, La Nina typically brings above normal temperatures during the winter along with below normal rainfall. This year's La Nina is actually the second year in a row this pattern has developed. These double dip La Ninas have occurred four times over the past 50 years, most recently during the 2011-2012 winter season. Looking back through our climate records at those winters, temperatures in Wilmington, Myrtle Beach, and Florence averaged one to two degrees above normal, with rainfall of one to three inches below normal and this is what appears likely to occur again this winter season. Portions of eastern North and South Carolina will begin this winter with a moderate drought, as rainfall since July 1st has been five to as much as 10 inches below normal in spots. Given outlooks for below normal rainfall to continue this winter, drought conditions may not improve, and this could help produce an increased potential of wildfires across the coastal plain from North Carolina into Florida. Snow is always a rare occurrence across the eastern Carolinas, Annual snowfall averages less than an inch along the coast and only a little over one inch inland. La Nina doesn't rule out snow occurring this winter, but it remains unlikely this will be the year for significant snow. Historic major snowstorms in 1989 and 1973 occurred during neutral and El Nino conditions respectively. One area where La Nina does seem to excel is in bringing lots of variability in temperatures during the winter season. One of the most significant Arctic outbreaks on record occurred in January 1985 during a double dip La Nina much like this one. All time low temperatures occurred across the Carolinas, including zero degrees in Florence, South Carolina. If you'd like more information about La Nina and details about what this winter may bring across the Carolinas, check out our website at weather.gov ilm and click on the winter outlook headline at the top of the page.